Hi, I'm Artist Eva and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be showing you my top 5 favourite tips and tricks for painting roses, including how to use brush strokes, adding accents, choosing colours, paint thickness and the most important tip which I will share at the end of the video. I came across these beautiful roses the other day while I was on a walk in my local area and it reminded me that I have received quite a few questions about how I paint my roses and peonies so I thought this would make a great subject to talk about so I went back to the same area with my camera the next day and took some videos and photos to share it with you. I will leave a link to my photos in the description box, so feel free to use them as a reference to paint your own version of these roses if you like and share them with me on Instagram by tagging artist.eva and I'm excited to see what you create. To create this painting I will be using a cotton canvas board of 8 by 10 inches oil paints, mineral spirits and liquid from Windsor & Newton to speed up the drying time. I will add the art supplies I used in the description box. For the underpainting I am using Indian red oil paint mixed with liquid and a bit of mineral spirit. Cover the canvas and wipe off the excess so it doesn't all blend into a muddy mess later. I'm using the same shade to sketch in my composition. I use two reference photos for this painting which I will add on the screen. When it comes to the reference photos I use them only as inspiration, it's not my aim to recreate the photo in oil. For these types of flowers, I usually start from the darkest area first, which includes both the darker shades and mid-tones layer before adding more highlights on the final layer. My number one tip on this list is to leave brush strokes visible. Try not to smudge the paint too much and leave the brush strokes visible as it will create the soft lines on the petals.
Here I'm starting the second layer by glazing the background which leads me to my second tip which is to mix some of the background colour as a little accent in your flowers. Alternatively you could do the opposite and add the main subject colour in your background if you prefer. I think it just makes the flowers look like they belong in the scene rather than looking like they have been stuck under the background. My third tip is use multiple shades of the same colour and analogous colours. Don't paint your flowers just in one colour. For example, the base colour of my flowers are pink, but I'm also using red, peachy tones and purple. If you are wondering how to pick a colour, the best way is to look at the colour wheel and identify the analogous colours. These are the colours next to your base colour. Using multiple tones of these colours will allow you to create depth.
Tip number four, use a liberal amount of paint on your brush. This is one of the things I remind myself whenever I start a painting. Once you start experimenting with this tip, you will see the difference and you will notice more brave brush strokes in your work. Of course you should still follow the fat over lean rule for oils. So the first layer shouldn't be too thick as it will take ages to dry and your paint might crack if you add the next layer too soon before the paint has dried, but don't let this put you off. And the last and most important tip on my list is to enjoy the process. Commit to the brush strokes with raw emotion like you really mean it. If you feel intimidated or scared of the canvas, delve deeper into your subconscious, connect with your true inner self and feel the process as you paint. But practice your art will become more unique and capture the essence of your being as you improve. If you're still apprehensive, imagine your worst case scenario you might create a painting that you aren't happy about and it's not looking how you imagined. It happens and it happens to me too. It's not a big deal. You can try fixing it on another layer or starting again. Think of your failed painting as not a waste of time, but a bridge you must cross in order to improve. Your favorite artist didn't paint their masterpiece on their first try. As it took me a little while to edit this footage, I was also able to include the varnishing process as the paint was completely dry by the time I had finished editing. I was supposed to release this video in August and I thought it would be a good theme for the end of the summer. It's already September now and the temperature is dropping here in England, so it's starting to feel more like autumn, but hopefully this video brought you some sunshine anyway and made you feel the summer for a little bit longer. I hope you find these tips helpful and are inspired to pick up your paintbrush and create some magic. If you would like to see more tips and videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button below the video, it really helps to grow my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time in my autumn vlog.